Okay. See, uh, I have a subcontracting procurement. Okay. okay. Um, I have uh, some five materials, but um, what happened? The sixth material, I don't have a stock. Okay. okay. But I need to provide to the supplier. Uh, how do you how do you handle that? I want to send some of the components to my subcontractor. Oh. Okay. I don't have a stock. So. Okay, uh, you want to send the five components to the subcontractor, but you don't have uh, all the stock. You have only four quantity. Uh, uh, the fifth material you don't have. Uh, yeah. Uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll go with the third party scenario. We'll uh, uh, third party we we request uh, the uh, uh, our customer to. Uh, uh, I mean, we request the. Uh, Uh, I mean, what we'll do is we, we can we can raise the purchase order. And you can request our uh, 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 vendor to the the particular material what is required for the subcontracting. You can request him to send that material to that subcontracting vendor. You can consider here the subcontracting vendor as the customer. Oh, what is the material uh, is lagging okay. for the subcontracting okay. process? You don't have to go to that uh, all that company or whatever you are saying. Maybe some country. You can just uh, like we we create. that material as a normal procurement to our vendor okay, okay. vendor a okay. okay and in that purchase order at the delivery address we have an option called uh, delivery address flag okay, okay. okay. and yes. also we have uh, subcontracting sc flag okay that, yeah that sc flag if you just keep it then uh, what will happen the system will uh, simply it will the vendor delivery to subcontractor address okay not a your address and when you perform 101 at your uh, location it will trigger 101 wo it won't trigger 101 okay 101 wo means the subcontracting subcontractor will get the stock okay, okay. okay. so when you do 540 the, when you receive 101 then the back end 543 will hit right to consume yes, the yes. components yes, yes. Yes. it will automatically hit it and there are many companies they don't do issues with 541 okay, okay. they don't do 541 concept at all they just okay. create a po to the vendor a the another okay. vendor and they keep the delivery address the subcontracting the flag and all okay so the vendor will not send to them the vendor will directly send to the subcontractor so subcontractor always will have some extra stock okay, okay. They, it's okay. not a po based stock they just receive whatever the stock they are receiving and this uh, we just send the subcontracting po to them and we just compare what are the component stock available at the vendor if it is okay. not available then we trigger requirements like that okay, okay. So, so we don't do we don't do, to, uh, we don't, yeah, we don't have to store in our material and we don't have to issue with 541 and all uh -huh. okay 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 or some for some material they can go like this some material they can go like this some companies directly follow the same method Okay. okay generally as per the standard sap we would say like uh, we can issue the goods with 541 yeah, we, but uh, we can say like process uh, you can yeah there is an option of, like that okay mm. so you can highlight uh, that there is an option yeah. to handle the same thing okay actually uh, i was uh, saying like uh, third party but no need to go for the other uh, special uh, third party Just is just uh, special there is a simple this process is that you don't so, have to use the word of third party okay. which will uh, misstate Okay, it will mislead that uh, condition. Okay, standard procurement only in the delivery tab in item level of the PO, we can give the vendor, uh, the subcontractor vendor as the customer, I mean uh, vendor address, so that the the vendor will directly uh, post, uh, I mean, uh, stock the goods to the subcontractor, our uh, required subcontractor, I mean the vendor. So both yes. are vendors, right? Yeah. 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 Both are vendor. One is subcontracting vendor, another one is normal vendor. Oh, uh, normal vendor. So we are requiring. we are requesting normal vendor to give uh, the create the po and uh, we are requesting him to uh, send the material to the subcontracting vendor what you are giving in the item level of the, uh, po yes 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 so that is the one scenario and the parallelly that that subcontractor will get the material from the uh, the actual vendor and he will uh, send us the finished product and as per our requirement yeah this is so only the 541 we don't do it it will just send oh, send by our vendor Okay, oh, it will oh, save okay. our transportation and uh, storing cost, efforts. All those things will come down. That's it. We can say. Okay, okay I think. And, okay, we we would say that either way we can do like uh, 541 yeah, or yeah, yeah. both or maybe the complete all the components which the subcontractor is receiving from the other vendor. Okay, either way you can say. 
to the entry yes, yes, we can we can do anything okay mm. okay okay